Hi everyone, and welcome to another tablet review. It's been a while. <laughs> Today, we have the XP Pen Deco Pro Medium. I'd like to thank XP Pen for sending this to me to try out and review. So, this tablet is listed at 130 US on Amazon, plus, there is a smaller version for less if you're interested, included in the box besides the tablet two adapters for USB-A to micro-USB and USB-C for connecting the tablet to Android phones, a pin holder that contains eight replacement nibs, a nib remover, and the pin itself. You also get documentation for installing the driver and a startup guide. The Deco Pro is the first aluminum housed tablet I've ever used, and it feels durable, a little heavy, but the quality is very nice. The entire tablet is just under 16 by 9 inches, with an active area of 11 by 6 inches. I love the look and feel of this thing. It has something I've always enjoyed in smaller tablets I've reviewed, which is a thin profile. While it's not as thin as those, it's still got a 7mm thickness, which makes for a very comfortable drawing experience, since it doesn't elevate your hand and wrist very much. On the side, we have 8 fully customizable express keys, a dial, and a trackpad like a laptop trackpad. It's obviously my favorite part, but I'll come back to that in a bit. The buttons have a low profile and are easy to identify thanks to the little nubbins on them. The dial is much like the dial on other decos. It's smooth and responsive. You can customize it as much as you want, but by default it zooms in and out. And the touchpad or trackpad is the best part because I've always needed a mouse to access my other monitor while drawing on a tablet, and this takes care of that problem, as it acts as a mouse with a left and right single click. The only downside is that you can't use this to track things around your screen, or at least I haven't figured that out yet. The pen is a passive and battery-free pen, light but weighted more towards the nib. It has two customizable buttons and a soft grip. On top of being over 8,000 levels of pressure, the pen also has 60 degrees of tilt, which is a great feature to have if you like to use it. And although I can't show off this bit as I don't own an Android phone, the Deco Pro is compatible with Android 6.0 phones and tablets using the adapter and XP Pen's own drawing app, DecoDraw, as well as Autodesk Sketchbook and Medibang Paint Android. There's a couple other apps out there as well. Onto the driver. It allows you to customize just about everything, save for showing the pressure feedback, oddly enough. You can turn the tablet from right-handed to left, as well as portrait if you like. You can also customize the lights on the wheel and corner markers of the active area with two levels of brightness, or you can completely shut them off. You can also set up your express keys per program if you want to have different buttons for each. Now to see how well it works. I've tested the Deco Pro out on all drawing programs I currently have installed. That includes Photoshop CC, Clip Studio Paint, Psy version 2, Medibang Paint Pro, and Fire Alpaca. The tablet worked great with all of them except for Psy, the original version, which had trouble recognizing the tablet. While I personally never used Tilt, I went ahead and tried it out with Photoshop, and it does recognize the Tilt. When I tested the pin for jittering and spotty lines, I found none, but the one thing I did notice was a bit of give in the nib, which made for a kind of dead spot in pressure, meaning the pin needed to be pressed into the tablet harder before the line would show up. After testing, I did a few sketches in Sci2 and Photoshop, and you can see the final piece I decided to record here while working in Photoshop CC 2019. I never once encountered issues with the driver or the tablet itself, so it was very comfortable to draw with. And now onto the cons. I'd like to mention that these are all personal preference and may not be an issue for others. While I really want to like this pen, it has that little bit of a give in the nib, which I said before creates a dead spot in pressure, which I feel like really doesn't allow you to use all 8,192 levels of pressure. But the other thing with the pin is that the buttons on the side are way too easy to press. This could just be the way that I hold the pin, but I found myself accidentally hitting the bottom button so much that it actually made me angry. <laughs> but after a while, I made myself hold the pin a little differently to compensate. And the other thing, which is purely just me, you all know that I like a smaller tablet because this thing is huge. I think I would personally benefit more from the Deco Pro Small as opposed to the medium here 
just because I prefer a smaller surface, but that's not really a con, that's just me. <laughs> that's pretty much it, it's just the pen that I had a little bit of issue with. So this tablet, besides all that, is awesome and I recommend it to people who are starting out or professionals who are on a budget. And a side note about the piece that I drew in this video, it has got to be the biggest image I've ever created at 13 by 19 inches. I did this because I can now do my own prints at this size, and I really wanted to test it out. So I just want to let you all know that if you're interested in getting a print of this, feel free to head over to my store link down in the description. Anyways, thanks again to XP Pen for sending this tablet to me to review. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later. sound dead. This is great. Oh, I'm so rusty on top of being sick.